What's going on everybody? It's the Odd Animal Team here and today we are bringing you our top six favorite beginner corals. Uh, you know, these are corals that are great for anyone starting a, a big tank, starting a small tank, maybe just starting a little tank for, you know, their very first time, or maybe they've been out of the hobby for a long time and are just looking to make an easy tank. Either way, these are easy corals for easy care and just, you know, easy tank life, the things we love the most. So, Nick's going to go ahead and start us off with his two favorite corals, and without further ado, hit us with it, Nick. So, my first favorite coral has got to be green star polyps. Everyone knows green star polyps. This is just a staple in the hobby. These are the beautiful star-looking polyps. And there's some green ones, there's some purple ones, there's some metallic ones. There's some that aren't even actually star polyps, but they grow just like star polyps, so I'm going to treat them like star polyps. We are growing out quite a variety in our tanks, and... They grow good under moderate flow. Sometimes they like high flow, but usually moderate flow, moderate light, they do amazing. You give them anything else, they're probably still going to do all right. The only issue I've ever run into with green star polyps is algae growing over them, and that can inhibit their polyps from coming out and cause a little bit of dieback. But as long as you keep the flow over them, algae doesn't get a chance to really form on top of them. So my number one pick is definitely green star polyps, best beginner coral that I've probably ever recommended. But it comes very close to number two, which is pulsing zinnia, or really any kind of zinnia, but pulsing is definitely the, the number one, the king. And it grows in these big, almost palm tree-like formations. They pulse under low flow. If you keep them under high flow, they'll still grow good, but they'll lose that pulse. And uh, it's, it's just another great beginner coral. You can give it moderate light, moderate flow, and it'll grow amazing. You can give it less than that, and it'll actually probably still grow amazing. This is one that might beat GSP for weed status. It'll, it'll grow over anything, um, but it's definitely one of my favorites. It adds lots of movement to the tank. Anybody that's not in the hobby that comes over and sees your tank, they're going to go, what is that? That looks like uh, animal plant hybrid you're like nope it's an animal it's coral you get into the big old discussion it's it's a lot of fun so xenia yeah. is my number two pick for yeah sure. those are both really great picks we actually have one tank we'll throw in some shots of here that we're gonna do 90 percent gsp we're gonna throw some mushrooms in there and stuff but yeah we love gsp at that grass look um one point i want to add on that nick is both of those corals are really great for people who want to do, um, you know, a little bit more predator tanks, but still want to have some corals. I know that some some fish will pick at those corals, but like you said, those things are going to keep growing. So uh, Sergio is going to go ahead and talk us to talk to us about his favorite two corals. So why don't you go ahead and, and break it down for us, Sergio? Alrighty. So the first pick I got is definitely mushrooms, uh, particularly of the Recorda, Recordia Yuma variety. Um, we, they come in all sorts of different colors. Um, the ones you'll see most often are the orange and the green, which we actually have rocks of in this tank right behind us. Um, basically bulletproof, low flow, low light, so if you're looking for budget tanks, easy, easy addition. It was one of my first corals. It's still alive. I started with one head. It has like four now. Uh, it's growing all over the rock. Looks absolutely stunning. Um, and again, many, many varieties. If you want to spend a bigger buck, there are some that have pink, some that have uh, clear or bright blues in them. So absolutely gorgeous coral. Um, very low maintenance. You just let it ride, put it in the corner of a tank, low flow, low light once again. Um, and they're awesome. As a side note, a bunch of other mushrooms are also cool. Uh, I'm one of the big fans of uh, shrooms in general. Um, yeah, they're absolutely incredible. Go ahead and grab some recorded Yumas for your tank. The second pick I have is actually from the Euphilia family, which some of you may uh, shudder a little bit when you hear that, but hammers are actually one of my favorite choices. Um, they've been absolutely bulletproof at the shop, the ones that we have. Um, they uh, might have been a mistake initially when I started in the hobby, but I bought some hammers early on, and they've actually lived through the entire tank, or the entire tank life that I've had them. Um, growing like crazy, I've already split. Again, each of them was one head. They already get two or three each, taking over a whole rock. I initially was going to add four hammers, but there's not even space um, because they've grown so fast. Um, absolutely incredible, can handle most things. Just make sure where you buy them is reliable. Um, they've been t uh, in a tank for at least a while. They've been setting, um, and they'll look absolutely stunning in your tank. Got lots of movement. Uh, it's a great starter coral if you're going to Ophelia. Again, uh, some of us know how expensive those Holy Grail torches go for. Uh, $1,300 <laughs> price tag, by the way. So if you're looking for something to start into that uh, big journey, uh, hammer corals are an absolute wonderful addition, and we have all sorts of colors here at the shop. What's, uh, what's some of your favorite hammer corals? 
Definitely the most favorite, or my favorite, are gold variants. There's some that are orange, just peaches gold. Then there's some that are just straight gold. Those will run you a little bit higher, but still just absolute tanks when it comes to survival. Um, the other ones are actually teal colored. Um, they just have teal tips. Uh, it's a nice blue, usually in uh, clearish tentacle, and they're absolutely stunning. Yeah, I like I like the golds. The golds are the golds are pretty sweet. And Any, anything gold is really good. Also, uh, you know, another good one that I like is. Um, the classic green with the purple tops. Uh, Those have been yes. kind of hard to find lately, but that, that's a good one. What about you, Nick? What kind of hammers do you like? Uh, I really like the teal ones. I like the gold ones. We we actually have a, a gold one that almost has a greenish hue at the ends of the tips. That's got to be my favorite right now. I'm resisting every urge to take that one home, but I'm going to let someone else have that opportunity. Uh, one thing that I wanted to say, though, is with regard to the mushrooms you were talking about and the corals I was talking about, kind of what you were saying, Ryan, they love that nutrient, and nitrate is going to do good for all of those. Uh, they really should be part of more fish only with live rock tanks. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so that brings it to me. And um, so my, my two favorite choices are going to be a, a little controversial. Uh, well, not really. I mean, if people have grown these corals, they understand. Um, but not everyone really looks towards these corals as a beginner coral at first. But uh, for me, I've always had really great luck with these corals, even in new systems. Um, so my first one is going to be a uh, Bali Green Slimer. Um, this is just a real classic acro. And I think one of the main reasons why this coral in particular is such a great beginner coral is just because it's been aquacultured for years and years and years. Um, it's pretty hard to find a Bali Green Slimer that hasn't been aquacultured that you're buying because these things grow like weeds. And if you're looking to start that stick journey, this is definitely the way to do it. Um, and it's just got such great cool color. I remember when I first fell in love with the Bali Green Slimer, the thing I saw, it was growing um, off the rock and then it grew into the glass and then uh, it grew off the glass and then back out. And I was like, oh, well that's basically the coolest thing ever. So I went ahead and bought one and throw one in my tank and it just grows, grows, and grows. We have some here in the shop as you can see on screen here. Um, so yeah, you guys check those out. And then my second is going to be the purple stylo. So <laughs> this was another one of my first SPS uh, ventures. Um, you know, I, I tore down one of my tanks a couple, uh, almost almost two years ago, a year ago now, a while ago. And um, I had a bunch of zoas and I, I fragged all the zoas and I went and I, I went to all my friend's shops all around Southern California and I was handing out zoas. And my one buddy, uh, he gave me a purple stylo and he's like, oh, go for it. And I was like, oh, well, my tank's brand new, you know, like it's, I don't know how this is going to do, but we'll try it, you know. And now that thing is massive. It's huge. It keeps growing. Um, you know, it's an awesome, awesome looking piece. It's got great polyp extension. Um, does good. Um, both these corals, the, the Bali Green Slimer, this one, um, I like, do like to run above 200 par. However, I've seen them, um, especially stylos, I've seen grow in the shade. Um, the stylos you can get away, definitely a little bit lower light, but the Bali Green, yeah, definitely want to keep over 200 par. So, um, basically, you know, what the advice I was given when I first started with the SPS was slap it on top of the tank and see what happens, because I imagine you do that, you're going to have pretty good success. So, <laughs> but yeah, that basically wraps up today's little talk about our top six favorite beginner corals. So, uh, go ahead and leave a comment letting us know what your favorite beginner corals are, um, or maybe, uh, let us know what kind of corals, um, you know, you thought were actually really easy. Um, when they were supposed to be a little bit more challenging. We'd love to hear those stories and we'll talk back So make sure you like comment subscribe head over to the site and then oh, yeah, we got new shirts out that are super awesome so um, Go ahead and check those out on the site too. We'll get you guys flossing and tossing You know everybody's gonna be chilling and wheeling and dealing so that's just how we do well You guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one